it's Danielle, long time no see, but today I am back with another video for you guys. Today I wanted to talk to you guys, basically my um, advice for incoming college freshmen. I've definitely done a lot of videos just talking about Howard and stuff, so I figured now that I'm about to be a senior, it's time for me to give you guys my advice for coming into Howard. Hopefully, there are some tips that you guys like to hear. So let's get started. Don't wanna play with you, baby. I just wanna say with you, yeah. Like me, run away with you, girl. I just wanna say with you, yeah. yeah. Before I even get into any of it, I'm gonna tell you I have like seven tips. They kind of range over various topics. I'm sure other people have other tips, and if you do, leave a comment and tell them to me. If you have questions, leave a comment. If you like any of my tips or you find them helpful, be sure to like this video and subscribe. And yeah. Let's get into it. So my first tip is pretty simple. It's just don't do anything during freshman week that you've never done before. Um, and what I mean by this is I meet so many girls that come, and I lived in quad, but quad is down this year. So I've met a lot of girls that come in, meet their little friends, and they're like, oh, it's freshman week, let's go da 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 Like, some girls have had a lot more experiences than you, and some girls have not had any experiences at all. So. You don't need to be doing a bunch of stuff during freshman week that's outside of what you've normally been doing because nine times out of ten it's going to be, um, you know, something that you might regret later. You have plenty of time to have new experiences and have them the organic, nice way. You don't need to force them all during freshman week. Um, I'm not saying don't go party. If you've never partied, definitely go party because that is the experience you need to be having. But you don't need to be out here doing a bunch of drugs you've never tried or drinking if you've never really drank that much like just be moderate and chill get to know people enjoy the campus enjoy the scene don't don't be crazy speaking of if you're about to party if you guys are trying to figure out what party pack to buy you guys definitely have to vibe with the gang and do ag best week ever i'm actually you know partnering with them if you will i have a code for you guys so if you use my link to sign up then it'll benefit the both of us and you'll have a good experience. When I was a freshman, that's what I did and it's definitely what I recommend for everybody. Of course, there are local parties around, but it's smart and in your best interest to choose a party pack just because you know that there are gonna be Howard freshmen there and you're not gonna be left to your own devices to navigate the streets of DC. When I was during freshman week, I think I went to one party that wasn't in the pack. Like, just stick to stuff that's safe. Y'all don't need to be doing a bunch of crazy stuff yet. Just trust me. <laughs> So use that code, you'll be good, and let me know how it goes. My second tip for you guys is something that someone told me that I wish I had done, but join a social org and explore your options for friendship. My freshman year, I was never really pressed to make new friends. I've never really been like that. So I just kind of chilled in the dorm, minded my business, and enjoyed other things. But I feel like if I had joined a social org freshman year, it would have given me a strong friendship foundation to join other things and move forward later on in my time at Howard. I've never really been pressed on that stuff, but I know people that are and people that get more fruitful experiences as a result of doing those things. So I definitely do recommend that you guys get involved in something freshman year, whether it's a social org or just a club. My third tip of advice for you is to get the best grades you can freshman and sophomore year. Um, it's definitely gonna be easier for you to get good grades when you're a freshman and sophomore than when you're a junior and senior. So if you kind of BS your time just to do things that you shouldn't be doing, then you're gonna have a lower GPA and it's gonna be harder for you to get internships and it's gonna be harder for you to raise it later on. Like, you know, one thing I didn't mess up on freshman year was my grades and that's something that you guys should not mess up on either. Because I know so many people that leave Howard after freshman year as a result of either financial aid or grades and you don't want your reason to be grades when you can do better and not mess up. So my next tip of advice is to save your money. I know when I was a freshman, my mother was sicing me. She was giving me money, 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 money just to make sure that I was good. And I was working. So your girl had money. And what did I do? I don't even know. I spent it on stuff I shouldn't have been doing, wasted it, and now I'm still working. I don't have any of that saved. If I had saved that money earlier on, I think I would have been happier now because I would have it for things that matter like paying my rent or other responsibilities that come as you get older. <laughs> My next tip for you guys is don't make a reputation for yourself that you don't want to follow you. And this is real, I mean, fortunately for some of us, you know, every bad decision that we've made didn't carry past freshman year because either the people that you made those decisions with left or other things happened. 
but if you can avoid it don't do anything that you shouldn't be doing like Howard is a small environment and if you're doing stuff that you shouldn't be doing people are going to talk about it and it's going to follow you for a certain period of time definitely during freshman year people get to know each other more than they do later on so you don't want the bit that someone learns about you to be something negative like you'd rather them not know you at all than know you for something questionable shady or immature so just make sure that you're not being dumb like that's just an overall thing but I mean that like in the nicest way possible just because I mean if someone's gonna say something about you now and they're saying something that they knew freshman year then that might not be who you are anymore so you don't want that to be how people view you like if you're doing stuff make sure it's good stuff like oh she's funny oh she's smart oh she's pretty oh he's witty you know what i mean not oh yeah um she's a drunk <laughs> that's gross um my next tip comes from my brother he basically said familiarize yourself with the financial aid office and i would extend that to like any other officials that you need i think it's important to make sure you know those offices i never had a reason to go to the financial aid office so i never met those people but if i had then it might come in handy now if i need to go in there for something you know or whatever the case might be so if you know that you're gonna be wanting this or wanting that then familiarize yourself with those people familiarize yourself with your deans with all of those people make sure they know your name so that they think of you when opportunities come around and then a last tip is just an aside and it's to make a LinkedIn or just whatever social account you know you want opportunities to come for you through um, I wish I had done that and really developed a LinkedIn early on my brother did a good job of doing that and he gets a lot of opportunities through there I know so many people that have developed like fruitful LinkedIn profiles and it's a good resource for them now so if you can do that you know you get in a lot of things freshman year and you can really reword them and um, you know exaggerate them to sound really great and those things will be beneficial when you're at the end of the year and you might want to try to get an internship even though you're a freshman or you might just want to look around and see what your accolades are those have been my seven tips for you guys if you've enjoyed these tips make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel i'm going to be posting more vlogs and stuff like that being consistent with you guys just because you know i'm a senior now why not also, make sure you give me a comment if you liked any of these tips or if you have any more. Follow me on Instagram if you want to talk to me. I do not use my Twitter anymore, guys. I just want to put that out there. I tweet once in a blue moon, and I definitely do not check anything on there. So if you want to get in contact with me, definitely use Instagram, not Snapchat. I'm not going to use that. Not Twitter. I'm not going to use that. So YouTube, Instagram, that's where you'll find me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.